Addressing a press conference in Sunyani, the leader of the concerned NPP members in the Bono region, Noah Ramsey Juma, alleged that several high-ranking members of the party, including members of parliament and regional chairmen, have openly declared their support for Dr. Bahamudu Baumia, contrary to the rules as outlined by the general secretary of the party, John Bordu. The rules, he said, were to govern the conduct of the would-be aspirants and their supporters, especially in the flag-bearer race. Violators of the rules were to be dealt with per the party's disciplinary code, but Mr. Ramsey Juma alleges the executives only suspend and intimidate those against the vice president. Since the announcement, however, a member of high-ranking members of our great party have openly declared support for the vice president, Dr. Alaji Mahmoud Baumia, who has left nobody in doubt of his determination to contest for the party's fabulousness. Prominent among these party officials are a deputy general secretary of the party, Mr. Obriye Wahi, Novin regional executive led by chairman Samba, the first vice regional chairman of Asante, Mr. Kwabina Century, the member of parliament of, for Kalaga Onamu Amin Anta, the member of parliament for Taron, Onabu Habib Idrisu, and Onabu Faluk Mahama, MP for Yaoundi and many others. These actions clearly violated the code of conduct recently announced by the general secretary and yet none of these party officials has been called to an order on the other hand it has become clear that when supporters of other aspirants try to stand their ground and protect their own they are either immediately rounded up by security agencies or subjected to acts of intimidation. Similar incident happened recently in Tamale, where known Alan Tremantin supporters have either been suspended or arrested and put in police cells for defending their own or speak out against injustice in our great party. Noah Ramsey Juma said they are calling on elders of the party, including the current and the former presidents, to urge the national executives to ensure fairness else the foundation and grassroots of the party would weaken, leading to a devastating defeat in the 2024 general elections. Our fear, ladies and gentlemen, is that if the Kelly situation is not arrested and every member of the party is made to feel an equal member with equal opportunities, the party would face a devastating defeat in 2024 with grave consequences into the future. We call on President Akuf Ado, the former president, among others, to stand and come up. They, they do not let us hear their voice. As we indicated earlier, we, the concerned members of our great party, will come up and declare our stand as soon as possible. So we want to hear from them. We will not wait till the party get back Opposition. Some MPP members who also spoke to the media said without transparency and fairness, leaders cannot work to achieve the expected unity and development of the party in Ghana. Precious Semevo, Joy News, Sunyane.